doing what we do with used clubs, it wouldn't be nearly as fun without having to look for it. This thing is sick. The chase, the hunt is like the important thing, right? All right, what's up everybody? My name is Cole Young of Metalwood Studio and today we're introducing a new series with Scratch called Range Pickers. Which is the new show where we teach you, the folks at home, how to build a golf club set on an extreme budget and have fun with it. We're here at the first tee of Greater Charlotte. Why are we here? Because North Carolina is just kind of a mecca for golf. Looking to poke around a couple stores that were more independent stores or mom and pop shops. Looks like they've got a crazy amount of used golf clubs. Also here that the owners of the stores or the proprietors are uh, pretty interesting people. Okay, now switch hands. Boy, that sure does feel good. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can't go in with many expectations, but driver with a good shaft in it, something forged, something skinny, something hard to hit, and then maybe a good looking putter, who knows? At the end of the day, we got $500 to spend. Let's see if we can build a pretty good bag with just that. Welcome. How you doing? Good. I'm Cole, thanks so much my for pleasure. having us. Yeah, I go by Freddie P. Welcome to Greater Golf Express Golf Emporium right here. Amazing. Freddie P's Golf Freddie P. Emporium. Thanks yeah, so much Freddie for having P. me. So, Appreciate uh, it. Yeah, I've been doing this for 29 years now. I'm a better buyer than I am a seller. Okay. Uh, okay. And uh, uh, as you can see by the amount of inventory we have. Yeah, right seriously. Now. Want to take a tour quick? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll take a tour and then I want to do some shopping. Okay, Today. yeah. Right back behind here. One iron, two iron. Ooh. Look at that one. Huh? Yeah, give me that. Uh, oh, yeah. Me, <laughs> I know. So, hey, everything's for sale. Let's take a walk. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm getting too excited. I need to okay. leave this area yeah. before I freak out. Did you... We Bring out all the goodies, just I know. get me going. This is standard operating procedure oh for God. us, okay? People come in, you know, wanting to save money. They get sticker chop. I want to help save you some money <laughs> or help save somebody else some money. Yeah. What I started doing with Metalwood was helping my friends put together a golf bag mm -hmm. on extreme budgets. We were able to put you into a set that was going to help you fall in love with the game. There's just like little tricks of the trade that are, are fun to pass on to other people, especially when they're in a bind and need to get a set of clubs. I was gonna say, I know you've got some tricks up your okay, sleeve. I'm so, dying to know. All right. Is this wet tinfoil? If this works, Tell you're gonna you. blow my mind. That was just two seconds. How's that? Amazing. So uh, we're putting that lipstick on the pig, right? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, look at that. Talking about saving money. This right here. I'm a huge Ford Tacky grip. Mac fan. That grip we sell for $349, or we also have the five where you might want to feast. Oh, yeah. Them. These are the pull offs. Wow. Uh, okay, I'm getting distracted. Let's, okay. uh, I'm yeah. gonna, I'm, so, okay. <laughs> so we're hitting. This is gonna be really tough because there are some really, really good things here. Oh my God. $99.99 for an absolute rocket launcher. Great looking Ping G2i with the insert. Oh my god. We've got this Yonex E Zone. This is like a 380cc driver that was like modern. Only $69.99 with a Diamana whiteboard and 83 gram X Flex shaft. Probably like a $300 upcharge for a shaft when it came out. I think we need like a little zone that I'm gonna be putting all these golf clubs in. Oh yeah. The natural beryllium copper with a jumbo. This one here is $39.99 and is so interesting. We might just have to get it. <laughs> so many good ones. We're buying golf clubs. Feels amazing. I have to buy it. I don't, I don't need the butters. I don't need them. I want them, but I don't need them. Womp, womp. So you're holding out on me, Freddie P. I know you got more of these in here. Well, you know what? I think we're all set. Cool. Let's do it. No irons? Yeah. I want to see what's at the warehouse, honestly. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. 132, not that bad. Good start. We might be coming back, honestly. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, guys, we got what we came to get. We got a little driver action. We got, I have no idea what this is. We got some grips that I've been dying to get. Kind of smashed it, honestly. So now we're going to go to the warehouse and see what we got.
What's going on, man? I'm Thanks Cole. Nice to meet nice you there. Nice to meet Trip. you. Thanks so much for having yeah. us. This is exactly what we're looking for. I think that the store is like obviously a, a curated experience. 100%. But I like to dig. Yeah. I like to get through it all. Oh, well, I hope you brought your shovel because we're going to do some digging today. You yeah, know? is there more yeah. than this? Oh, yeah. You know, let's check it out, Cole. Okay. We'll go back here, man. Welcome to the back of warehouse, too. Oh, yes, my. sir. Don't let your jaw hit the ground. Oh my God. The used is still the core of our business, I feel like. You know, totally. people actively seek us out looking for that stuff, you know. Yeah, we can come along and check out some of the other goodies yeah, back here. A yeah, lot more absolutely. to check out. Yeah, so we got a, we got a driver and a hybrid. So okay. I'm in the market for maybe a set of irons if we find come across the right one. Okay. God, if we could find a whole set of the 681s, that'd be pretty yeah. hyped. Yeah. So this that, one, I mean, that's in pretty good that's shape. That's pretty there, good shape, yeah. Know? I'm going to hold on to this one. Yeah, it's yeah. Probably crazy, but I'm yep. feeling a little lucky. We might be finding more of them. I'm going to slide back here if yeah, you Yeah, yeah, check it out. Is this really a tour issue? It is. At some point, probably was on a yep. tour truck, maybe. I maybe in that. the tour van, at least, yeah. you know. I see some goodies. On this place is nuts. <laughs> you know, I wish we had more money. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll work a good deal. Let's put it that way. Okay. You know? All right. Well, let's go over and look at some of the irons. Anything that looks like it would hurt your hands is kind of what we're looking for. Because <laughs> I want to be able to bitch about something. I want to have an excuse. <laughs> right. The standard. Do we know uh, anything about these? Those are uh, Palmers. Palmers are standard. I mean, the so, grooves are immaculate. Yeah. I mean, we're talking some straight butter knives there. These are 149. Those are definitely in our wheelhouse. What else do we need? A wedge and a putter. We could find a ping dock, the waffle oh, iron. Dude. Do you have one here? Yeah. Please tell uh, me. Did you want one or did you want two? We got the baby boy, the dock 15, no, no, and we got the, the big boy. Yeah, we want the potato masher. Oh my God, this is bigger than my foot. This won't fit in my bag home. We'll get you a separate bag. We'll get the junior bag. Oh my God. With the pouch. I think oh, it's brand I think it's brand new to God. tell you the truth. What are we looking to get for this? Do you have a number in mind, I guess? No, honestly, I don't. Yeah. I, I'm waiting for you to tell me because yeah. I'll probably pay anything for it, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid that one might put us over budget. Okay, you think. You think. All I right, have to yep. think. I have to I have to <laughs> I needed a putter. Found the potato masher that she's found the potato asked masher. For, this, is, this is the one that I need to have. Found the standard, just a muscle back blade, forged blades. I wouldn't have it any other way. And then we got to talk about what we're going to do with this bag here, because I don't think I can leave without it. Would no. you do 125 on it? You know, I'm thinking it could probably pull closer to two online, but you know, considering the fact we're getting the other stuff here, I think 125 will work there then. Got sir. yourself a deal. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, man. I appreciate no, no it. Doubt. Appreciate it as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We just wrapped up at the Greater Golf Express warehouse. Not gonna lie, we went a little over budget, but I've never seen this amazing Paisley print. We also got a three through pitching wedge in Arnold Palmer's, the standard forged irons. Waffle iron that I think rolls a couple balls or so. And I think that we are at a grand total right now of 425. So we've got about $75 left to play with. All we really need is some wedges for around the green. So we're gonna go off to the golf shop. That's it. That's that's the name, Golf Shop. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's going on? I'm Cole. Jerome. Jerome, nice to Good meet to you. Good to meet you. Thanks so much for having us. Today we had a $500 spending limit. Okay. We have gotten pretty much everything except wedges. Okay. We had a couple bucks left and wanted to go through your wedge selection, find out a little more about why you've got this place, how long you've been here. I heard you're a mean club builder. Okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do here? I'm his dad, and I help him out. Oh, oh amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Family business. You doing much club work? Some. Yeah? These are talking right here. How you got overflow in the bathroom, huh? Where would you find your clubs? Out of the bathroom. <laughs> right, right. That's where we keep the good stuff. All these clubs that we're taking on today, we're going to test out tomorrow, see how nice. they do, see, like, yeah. Would we buy them again? Will they be valuable? Are they gonna appreciate value? All that kind of stuff. These two, Walter Morgan dropped these off. This red one, Jack Nicholas actually sent him. 
he putted with Jack's putter a few, on a few holes, and he's like, man, I really like that putter. Yeah. So when he got back home, this one was waiting on him. When oh he got my back, God, I said, how cool Jack's is that? <laughs> this is a Model 600 Tourney Custom. But this thing is gorgeous. Yeah, that was really cool. All right, so these wedges are amazing. XFT was exchangeable face technology. You could turn it around, pop the face out, and just put new grooves in. 75 for one, yeah? Okay. These might be the ones, wow. honestly. Awesome, well, if you don't mind, I'd love to sure. get rung up on this guy and then right. we'll take it to the course. So we just got back from the stores. I think we did really, really well. We went over budget by $2. We had no intentions of buying a golf bag at all. And then we found this absolute beauty of a vintage Ping L8 with a pattern that I really have never seen. And I think we got an absolute steal on it. So we found this putter, it's a Ping Dock. This thing is like the size of my head. One of my all time favorite wedges, a tailor-made XFT wedge. This is one of the ones that you could go through, you know, a set of grooves. And then when they wear down, you can switch them out. We were also able to find a set of three through pitching wedge irons by a company called The Standard. They're extremely, extremely skinny. The natural is what they call me. We bought this because it's actually made of beryllium copper. Freddie's a great salesman. I've owned this driver before. It's a Yonex E-Zone, so it's not forgiving at all. I'm, I'm dying to know how far a full swing 64 goes. Oh, that actually went pretty far. 97 carry, 100 total. We're gonna try it out. Oh! God, devastating. First impressions, like they are blades for sure. And there's absolutely no muscle on them. There's just like a flat piece of metal. That's as good as you can hit that one, for sure. 197 carry, 210 total. This is the natural. This kind of just had a spotlight on it, like, oh. and shorter than the three iron, so not off to a good start. <laughs> there we go, 221. Driver time. This is a really heavy shaft. Kind of like that. That was 275 carry, 278 total. I like this thing. All right, so we're in the bunker. We got a 64 degree. <laughs> I really like the bounce on this. Allows you to like throw your hands a little bit more at it. Maybe the worst putter ever made. <laughs> but also the best putter ever made. All right, if we make this, I get another 500 bucks in another episode. All right, guys, well, that's a wrap on our first episode in Charlotte, North Carolina. The doc, baby. Doctor's in the house. All right, guys, we're back at my store. This is Metalwood Studio on La Brea Avenue in Los Angeles. To spend some time with these clubs and, you know, kind of diagnose what went wrong, what went right. I think we. We found some absolute gems. I think we found some absolute junk. We thought we loved the irons. They just didn't go as far as we wanted them to. I think that might have to do with the loft being a little weaker. So we should probably just throw those on the loft and line machine. It says 51 degrees of loft. The reason we were hitting this so short is not because I'm a bad golfer. It's because the clubs were really weak. The ping dock putter was a huge conversation starter when people walked into the store because we had it right by the front door. The bag, the big win. Big Kahuna was the ping hoofer bag in what the print was called the tack room. Never seen it before in person, kind of like a Moby Dick situation, and it is now a family heirloom. You can't have it, don't even ask. All right, guys, that's it for the first episode of uh, Range Pickers. Thanks so much for tuning in. Stick around, we're gonna be hitting up your uh, local golf store or your local uh, garage sale and seeing what's next, so stay tuned.